Well, greetings, church family. Paul Austin, your worship pastor here, and I would like to share with all of you another one of my favorite hymns and the story behind that hymn. As most Christians know, the Bible is filled with teachings that emphasize the importance of living a life that is focused on eternity. It constantly encourages us to seek only those values that have eternal worth. Many of these passages about eternity are found in the Sermon on the Mount. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. That's Matthew 6.33. But you find these teachings in other books of the Bible as well. If you then are risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on the things of earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. That's Colossians chapter 3. Many songs have been composed with these teachings in mind, but none has been more effective, in my opinion, at getting this concept across so beautifully and so simply as the hymn, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus has been widely used in Christian circles to challenge believers with the necessity of making Christ the ultimate priority in their lives and then living each day with eternity's values in view. The composer of this hymn, Helen Lamell wrote the song in 1918 after a missionary friend gave her a tract titled Focused. The tract contained these words. So then, turn your eyes upon him, look full into his face, and you will find that the things of earth will acquire a strange new dimness. These words deeply affected Helen and she could not dismiss them from her mind. She recalls this experience following the reading of that tract. Suddenly, as if commanded to stop and listen, I stood still, and singing in my soul and spirit was the chorus of the song, with not one conscious moment of putting word to word to make rhyme or note to note to make melody. The verses were written the same week after the usual manner of composition, but nonetheless dictated by the Holy Spirit. The song appeared in the United States in 1924, and has been included in most evangelical hymnals since that time and has also been translated into many different languages around the world. A little bit about the author. Helen Lamell was born in 1864 in England and came to the United States at the age of 12. She was the daughter of a Wesleyan Methodist pastor and briefly lived in Mississippi before settling in Wisconsin. She developed a reputation as a brilliant singer and traveled widely throughout the Midwest during the early 1900s, giving concerts in many churches. She later taught voice at the Moody Bible Institute. In addition to being a brilliant singer and musician, she was also widely recognized as a woman with remarkable literary ability. She wrote more than 500 hymns and poems, though none more popular or more impactful than Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. She remained active for God in her musical and literary pursuits until her death at the age of 97 years old. Now recently, I have found this hymn to be extremely impactful in my own life. Uh, when I look at the world around us, I see chaos, division, injustice, and fear-mongering. And the effect that it has on me is a feeling of helplessness. What can I do to change the world? What can any of us do to change it? But the truth is, we are not living for this world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. Our lives are transient. We're here for a moment and then we are gone. But if we fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, then the things we accomplish for Him and in His name will be eternal. Jesus Himself told us to live this way. He said, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Oh. 
Oh, soul, are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see. There's light for a look at the Savior And life more abundant and free Turn your eyes upon Jesus Look full in His wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim In the light of His glory and grace His word shall not fail you, He promised Believe Him and all will be well Then go to a world that is dying It's perfect salvation to tell Turn your eyes upon Jesus Full in his wonderful face The things of earth will grow strangely dim In the light of his glory and grace Turn your eyes upon Jesus Full in His wonderful face And the things of earth will grow strangely dim In the light of His glory and grace In the light of His glory and grace in the light of His glory and grace.